Hey guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome back to Parkitect. So today we're doing another tutorial video. Um, the first one we did a few days ago looking at mods and how to install them. So today we're going to take a closer look at how to build paths. We're going to take an in-depth look at normal paths, queue lines and employee paths, show you how to build them, how to add bridges and tunnels and also a very quick look at a mod that does enhance paths. Um, and then this will take us on to in the next video which will have a closer look at placing buildings and scenery in this game. So let's start with the basics of paths. So paths are here on the um, UI at the bottom. You have three different paths that you can use. These are guest paths, these are queue lines and these are employee paths. So if you look up here on the example that you start with this little section here with the line down the middle, that's the employee path, and only in park staff can go on those. Here is your normal path, which is this, the regular stuff, and it comes in a variety of different colours, which I will just show you here. Uh, most of it is uh, square, but you do have one or two that have got slightly curved edges. Uh, and this one obviously joins up depending on which piece and area you're using it on. Um, so as you can see, he's got different designs depending where it is. And uh, like I said, this one has got a little curved edge to it, and so is this one. Uh, the rest of them are just straight, but they are slightly textured, as that one is there. And this one's like I say, it's got like a little sandy outside. This one's got like a gravelly texture, um, and then there's actually sort of default tarmacs. Uh, this one just here is kind of like um, tile, I guess, like slabs of concrete tiles. Um, but that's generally your paths. So, how do we get bridges and stairs and that sort of thing? Okay, so let's use, let's jump onto this one here as an, a good example. So, you just place down where you want a path to go, just as you would do normally with your mouse. If you want to delete, you press your other mouse button. Um, but if you look on here, where the last places you've gone, you'll see a little arrow that's po poking out the side. Now this is very similar to Rollercoaster Tycoon. Um, this UI here, that you see we've got bridges, we've got these corner pieces. So that arrow is telling us where the next piece will go. Exactly the same as the coaster builder, which we'll go into in another video. So if I want to go this way and build a bridge, I press that to make the arrow go that way. And then I choose my gradient. So if I want to go flat, I can use this. If I want to go up slightly, I use that. If I want to go up steep, I use that. So let's do two of those and you just press them to build. Flatten it out, go down two, and flatten it again. And that is how you do a very simple bridge. Now, as um, as with the flooring over here, it has different um, textures and different shapes depending on what you're building. The same for bridges. So as you can see, this has got a, a very kind of uh, modern feel to this bridge. If I grab the wooden path and start building up here and do the same, oh, you can see that that builds a nice wooden bridge. And again, it's got nice texture on it where you've got different slats and different shaped bits of wood and different edges here. So, and you have different side pieces, railings, and stuff depending on the path you're using. So if I build the, let's build another one, let's use the slab here and see what that looks like. So again, you've got another style of bridge there with more flat kind of straight edges and it carries on the kind of theme of the floor up the bridge. So let's try another one, let's use this sort of sandy one. So there you've got the wooden bridge over here. So that one uses the same uh, the same bridge as that one. So that's good to know. And what else do we need? Let's just try the default sort of uh, default texture. There we go. So that one's very similar to this bridge, uh, except you've got this um, pattern and texture going all the way up. It keeps the sign of graveliness to it. So that's how you do basic bridges, um, which is nice and simple. So if you wanted to go underground in this game, you can do that as well. So let's go back to this one. So if I want to go here, and I want to go straight down, it will do it for you. Automatically builds tunnels. You come off to one side. Oh, come off to one side like this. 
go back that way and there we are we're back out on the ground so that's how you can do a very simple easy tunnel and then you can sort of put theme in or trees or whatever you want around that and that's how you get under the ground with those so in, let's move on then we've done paths that's pretty simple let's move on to queue lines so these are very very similar to how the paths work in fact they are identical um, the only difference is you do have slightly less um, choice of, of style so you've got this one with a nice circular kind of design in the middle you've got a square design that's here is a bit more straight edged and then you have a wooden design just there now it's exactly the same procedure for doing steps as it was with doing the paths bridges and everything the same underground is exactly the same just like that so you can do those and um, the difference you do have with pa uh, Q paths is that you can change the color so if you want to make this black like that I guess and maybe you want this one to be like a greeny color um, like that um, there you can oh sorry the green doesn't really show up on the wooden bridge however on that one you can see it so you can design whatever you want with the paths and the Q lines um, so like these can do a nice like zigzaggy type of thing, uh, a bit like most theme parks have these like cattle pen queues. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, you could do like, um, and you can join the different queue paths together as well. So if you wanted to have like curvy bits in the same queue, you can. And maybe on a like wooden bridge over some water, you can add them all together. It won't mess up the ride. It'll it'll just extend the queue to whichever path you've got. So that is how you do. Q lines, nice and simple, nice and easy. So the next thing that you can uh, do with paths is the employee paths. So like I've briefly mentioned, these are paths just for employees, so guests will not go down any of these. Uh, and the, the good thing you can do with these paths is they link up to the back of shops. So if you put in a shop, uh, let's put it facing that way, you can see at the back now you've got a little line that joins up to the back so this is how the employees will bring the stock into this building so obviously a guest path would have to be at the front of it for them to be used so let's put that in there so guests will come in this path and they will go here to the shop employees will bring the stock from here down this path into the back so that's really useful if you're designing a park that you want it to be quite realistic and you want it to be usable and that is exactly how you do that with paths. Now, in another tutorial video, I will go into a bit more detail in how the stock um, and depot system works in this game, um, as there are options for underground tunnels and depot and staff buildings and all that kind of stuff. So we'll cover that in another video. Today, we are just looking at the paths. So that is pretty much it in terms of your basic paths. Now, I will go into one thing here. Um, which is a mod which is available which enhances paths so um, I've done an, um, a tutorial video already showing you how to install mods so now we're going in depth on one in particular um, and that mod is path essentials this one just here now what this gives you is borders and railings and side bits for paths and it kind of enhances um, what you can currently do or in the game already so let me go to a new place on the map and I'll show you what what I mean so let's use this tile let's do a two by whatever two width by whatever that is <laughs> two width path back into here and we'll go back to path essentials and if you could jump down here to path cover full path cover half and I'll show you what these can do so if you use the snap to grid which is press and hold alt then this will snap it to the edge of the path so you can have a nice border around your paths and it gives it just like a nice little edging and obviously they can change you can change the color of these uh, if you want to use the full path cover it's a little bit wider and that kind of half covers the path so this is better if you're doing um say you're doing a main street and you want there to be um a roadway in the middle and then maybe like a um, a public walkway at the side that's what you can do with this so if you make it black like, like, as it would be if it was a um, a public footpath that's what the one underneath I do apologize my bad 
and I feel the path again. So yeah, if you wanted to do this, then you can um, have yourself a lovely little sidewalk, as they call it in America. Um, so there you go. You can add a nice little side stretch to your paths. Um, which it just gives you some options. So then obviously the, the actual guest will only ever walk on this half, but it does give you a nice edge if you want to build up to a building, for example, and you can't quite think of what to fill in the middle. That gives you a nice uh, option. Now, the other things you've got in here are fences, and you can also do little curved borders as well. So if you've got a square path um, that you want to put a little border on the edge of, you can have these little things. Um, they're quite decent. I mean, you can bring them up as well if you want them a bit higher, so you have the option of that. So to, to lift up in this game um, is shift. So you press and hold shift, and then move your mouse up and down. And then you get your heights on the side. So that's how that works. Different heights are done by that. Uh, and if you're changing the orientation of an object, you press space. Then you can place that down wherever you'd like. So like I said before, Alt links it to the grid. Um, if you press Alt and then a number, you can change the grid size. So number one is a big square. Number two is half squares. Number three is even smaller. Four five, six, seven, so on, so on and so forth. So this is really useful for tiny little scenery objects, um, which we'll quickly go over. So let's say you want a cactus, just here. Um, so without pressing anything, you have free, free reign of the map, so you can go anywhere. If you want to nail it down to a sp specific area, this is what the default grid looks like. But if you want to go really, really tiny and go like number five, you now have all these little grid options. So it gives give you the option to be so specific with your placing. I mean, you can go even smaller than that. That's six. That's seven. That's eight. That's nine, and so on. So nine is the sort of biggest you can go, and back to zero. So that is how specific you can be with this. You could literally do like an army of straight cactus if you really wanted to. So it does give you that that nice little option with that there in the building tool. So that's the basics of paths and the basics of building and placing things down. We've learned how to do bridges, we've learned how to do tunnels, we now know how to place things, and how to orientate stuff, how to change the heights, uh, and another thing which you can do, which kind of links back into, uh, we'll use the cactus as the example, um, that is the default size. Anything that you see this little plus one next to it means that you can scale the item. So if you press on the little plus, There you go. If you press on the little plus, this is your scale uh, scale gauge here. So three is as big as you can get, and look at the size difference. So that is how big you can scale or uh, scale items to. So if you want one in the middle, we go to number two, roughly about there, and there we go. We have a different size cactus. So that is the basics of building on part this is only part one of this tutorial um, we'll be covering scenery and buildings in the next one uh, and then a bit later on we will cover utilities and how to do um, those and how stock and employees work so this is only a very quick one now today but i hope that gives you a little more understanding of how paths uh, and sort of items and the basic placing of things works now, if there's anything that uh, you think I've missed, if there's anything you'd like me to go over in more detail, please drop it down in the comments below, and I will go over that in the next video. Um, but for now, that gives us a very good look at how to do paths, queues, employee paths, bridges, tunnels, and the basics of mods and scenery items. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, like I said, there'll be more of these coming out very soon. I'm going to start a little series of it. Um, this, tutor this tutorial in particular with the building aspect um, was actually commented in um, or was actually suggested sorry in a comment from a previous video uh, apologies if I get your name incorrect uh, but Joanna Lees um, said it would be uh, she would love to see an up-to-date building tutorial every building tutorial I search for is outdated so that is what basically spurred us on to do this series now uh, as you are correct I did do a little searching around the internet 
and most of the building tutorials are back in the very early alphas like two three four um, so they have been a little bit outdated most of them are about a year old uh, and things have changed since then so that's why we've started we are starting this new series um, like I said any other suggestions for things you want me to cover if there's anything sp uh, specific you would like to see covered in one of these tutorials please drop it down in the comments uh, but like I said the next one out will be looking at uh, buildings and scenery and then the one after that we'll be looking at um, employees and stock and how the uh, utilities system works so those are the the sort of ones I've got currently planned. Like I said, anything else you want me to cover, please drop it down below uh, and I will cover it as soon as I am able to do. So thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's been useful and I will see you again soon. Bye. Bye.